With a commitment to fostering practical skills and knowledge, a meeting organized by the site company and with funding from the International Labour Organization took place today at Garissa Vocational Training Center. The objective of the course was to equip 18 trainees from the community with knowledge and hands-on skills in basic masonry, plumbing, water pumping equipment and systems operation. This will enable them to provide skills maintenance for equipment and utility structures such as animal drinking troughs, water kiosks, water piping systems, so as to ensure optimum performance of water facilities installed at community water points. It was joy, pomp and color at the event attended by representatives from site company, the International Lobby Organization, and officials from Garissa County Government, led by CEC Education, who was grateful to the donor and the implementing agency. My name is Sarah Ahmed Hassan Aden, manager of Garissa Vocation Training Center. We have gathered here this morning to preside over the graduation ceremony of 18 students who have been sponsored by SAIT in collaboration with ILO. We must thank SAIT and ILO for their support, not only the SAIT student, but the entire Engadiza Vocation Training Centre. Initially, they have actually sponsored 70 students, of which two of them were ladies. And they have graduated, they have done the exam, and now they are actually um, in the, in the labor market doing a number of things. So we would like to appeal an uh, ILO to also give us the second cohort, probably 140 students because the need is there. And therefore, we, we ask them to actually consider us so that we can train more students and send them to the world market. Thank you. Today we have uh, gathered here and uh, we are, I came to preside over a graduation ceremony and uh, for a course that has been offered here in Garissa Vocational Training Center. This is one of our centers. We have four centers. It's one of our centers and the biggest actually. There are so many courses that are going on, but this was a value addition for us because plumbing was being done here and uh, if maybe um, Another and on top of it, there is community repair of those machines, and uh, there is a big challenge in Garissa County because the boreholes are breaking down every other day. And once they break down, we look for the ones who will repair from this particular county, and we are told there are only two or three of them, and they cannot serve the entire county because the challenges that are there are wide. So we need to uh, at least fill in those gaps by at least making use of the students who have been trained to go and do that work and even to do a job training because as they continue doing the work it is going to be a job training for them and they will get more skills and they will learn a lot so what we are saying is and we are asking ILO to support us to upscale this particular program so that we can get more students who can be able to serve the entire sub counties in the entire county and be there in all the sub counties so that they can support the challenges that are there in terms of repair of, 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 of boreholes and even the uh, water, uh, water pans that are there within Garissa County. So thank you so much for the support. I hope we will continue. Uh, my name is Lillian Dinda. I work for International Labour Organization, ILO. I'm the National Program Coordinator for Enterprise. And uh, this uh, afternoon we are happy to be at the Garissa Vocational Training Centre to witness uh, the Con the commissioning of uh, 18 youth who have been trained with uh, water systems management skills and for this we would like to congratulate the Vocational Training Center for a job well done, uh, the Garissa Water Company for offering uh, technical support to this process and to the county government for being uh, a partner in this activity and of course to site enterprise promotion who have been our partner on the ground coordinating the entire exercise. Our purpose is to strengthen the community resilience systems and, and so this is why we are bringing in the element of skills training but linking it to needs in the community uh, and in this case for the water uh, services. Um, maintenance in the community level. The 18 trained youth are not only going to ensure that water systems in the community run, but they are also going to be able to offer this service to other people beyond their communities and also earn an income out of it. So 
for us it's skills training but a strong linkage to the jobs market and to solving uh, community needs where uh, both humans and uh, animals in this case for the chamomile value chain will benefit from quick access to water because the water systems, the boreholes and the dams will be up and running out of the skills of the young people uh, acquired in the last two months. Thank you. Finally, the graduates were very happy with the skills they have attained and this was their reaction. Vile vile pia siwezi wa sahau, wafadili wangu, aelo. Vile vile pia niongeze na juu, site, asanteni sana kwa kuwasaidia vijana hawa kwa sababu gani wao ndio wanakuwa waongozi wa kesho sisi ndio tutakuwa kwa ile nafasi yenu wao ndio watakuwa wa vijana wa site mimi ndio nitakuwa pale kwa hayo lo <laughs> pia nawashukuru sana walimu kwa sababu kama si nyinyi singekuwa hapa nilipo leo nawashukuru sana 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 namshukuru meneja wangu kwa sababu gani yeye yeah, ananipatia anga Morali sana akiniambia kwamba unaweza na mimi najua kwamba ninaweza na namuomba Mungu azidi kuniwezesha. Unaona? Hakuna lisilowezekana. Mimi naitwa Shurema Abdullah Isaac. Mimi ndo vijana wenye mamalizia vocation Garissa Vocational Center hapa. So we are among the people that finished up here. So tumejifundisha mambo mengi. Kazi pia ziko lazima zifanyike. Skills mfundishwa welding, tofundishwa masonari, tofundishwa plumbing. So we up to tushamaliza. Na feel aje ni kofiti sana alhamdulillah. Na naambia vijana wenzangu tumalize karibuni Garissa Vocational Center hapa. Watu wanafundisha. Since I'm finished my next step ni kurudi rural area where I came from. I'm trained so niende huko nisaidie watu wangu huko hata kama juu ukiangalia ile pipe ikivunjika kule inachukua 3 days mtu kuja toke tao kuja transport kila kitu ina cost so ukiangalia ile mtu anataka kitu kula pia kulala huko pia so inachukua time mingi sana